I'm Layla, a Ritawa student. Uh, hmm? Oh, sorry, I didn't sleep well last night, so I'm a bit out of it today. What did you say again? You, you want to team up with me? No, 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 it's not that I don't want to, I'm just not sure my crazy sleep schedule will really work for you, but, uh, I guess I look forward to working with you. Even when we're not looking up at the stars, they're always there, oh, watching over us. My legs are so sore. Oh, guess I must have been sleepwalking last night. Oh, again. Oh, why do I have to write so many papers? Why? Oh, the weather's terrible. Shoot, if I can't see the sky tonight, uh, I really can't put off my star mapping homework any longer. Oh, the snow is sparkling. Uh, just like the stars in the night sky. Hmm, the sun's making me so... Oh, sleepy. Okay, let me grab a pillow and rest my eyes before this wears off. It's been two, two days since I last, last. <laughs> oh, scorching hot days and freezing cold nights. I, I, I don't think I'm gonna make it. <laughs> Did you get enough sleep? Uh, if you're still tired, you should go back to sleep for a bit. Me? Uh, I'm... used to it. Uh, I'm in the middle of a stellar kinematics calculation right now. Just go to lunch without me. Uh, wait, this... this angle isn't right. No, no, no. <laughs> Shoot! How far in was I when this mistake crept in? Oh, I'm going to turn in early tonight. Hope I can actually get to sleep. Dear mighty god of wisdom, please bless my slumber, I pray. Okay, closing my eyes now. <sighs> right. Let's see what stumped Daylight Layla this time. Hmm. She hasn't touched the third year of old Starlocks yet. They definitely need working through. And there's a few charts to be appended to the midterm report, which... Yep, she hasn't even started drawing up yet. Alright, time to get to work. Oh, huh? What are you doing up? You should be asleep right now. Me? Sleepwalking, of course. <sighs> According to my textbook... Using theoretical astrology to solve specific problems in our daily lives should not be our primary goal. But whether we should or not, the real reason nobody does it is that, well, it's just, it's not worth the effort. When we do a prediction, we usually have to use multiple celestial globes and consult at least one whole year's worth of star charts to get any... Precise answers. To go through all that just to find out whether the price of spices will go up tomorrow. I mean, it's just not worth it. Since I found something I like and that I'm good at, I, I think I should try and stick with it. Even if the journey is difficult and even if the competition is fierce and even if there's no guarantee I'll graduate and... Even if I have to return all my scholarships if I fail my final exams. <sighs> Maybe I should just drop out and go back home. I agree. I don't like having to pull an all-nighter to catch up on schoolwork either, but they just keep piling on the assignments, don't they? That's how things go here. So obviously I have to help her out. <laughs> Wanna keep me company? If I don't end up staying at the Academia after graduation, I think I'll come travel the world with you. What do you think? 
<sighs> oh, where's that glowing coming from? I could have sworn I turned the lights off before I fell asleep. Oh, it's just my vision. No wonder. Oh, wait, but didn't didn't I leave this on my nightstand? The chief editor of our Darshan keeps dialogues that show the fates of all living beings. They are, without a shadow of a doubt, the apex of astronomical knowledge. The first time I saw one, I was scared speechless. Oh, uh, are you interested? If you just want to take a quick look, let me put in an application for you. I think it should be fine. Uh, I think. <sighs> are there any plants that can catch bugs? Because if so, I need their help. I don't fall asleep easily to begin with, but now there's this little flying bug somewhere in my room. The buzzing is so loud and it never stops. But I... I've tried, but I just can't find it. <laughs> Mona Magistus, the astrologist. Her astrology column in the Steambird is well known among Ritawahi's scholars. Her articles always cover super specialized topics, but can still be appreciated by non-academics. That's no easy feat. <gasps> huh? Her... Name seems to just roll off my tongue. Oh, uh, that's just because I I have a lot of respect for uh, amazing people. Oh, I know who you're talking about, Lisa Minchi, the legendary Spontamod prodigy who graduated in just two years. If only I had her brains, huh? You met her in person when you were in Mondstadt. Really? So, what's her studying process like? What books does she read and what kind of work does she do? Where, where should I start if I, if I want to learn from her? Oh, D Dory. <clears throat> I, I took the plunge and bought something from her once. She looked euphoric as I was settling the bill. I think she assumed I was some sort of mega rich person kept relentlessly sending product ads to me in the mail afterwards. Ugh, biggest mistake of my life! I paid such a huge price for it. Cause not only did I spend all of my scholarship money in one go, but for most of the next year I had to survive mainly on cheap vegetables. And I couldn't buy textbooks unless they were on sale. <laughs> The General Mahamatra is really good at Genius Invocation TCG? Oh, I wonder if... <laughs> I mean, if I ever got the chance, maybe I could play a game with him. Card games like Genius Invocation TCG are always easier when <laughs> you're good at mental math, so... Actually, I... I don't know, but <laughs> I might not necessarily lose to him. Huh. I saw someone who matches that description when I woke up after sleepwalking for the first time. Candace, huh. Now I know. I still remember the moment I woke up. All of my reports and essays were done. At that time, it felt like... Like, after pleading to the stars for days and days, now... Now they'd finally heard me and sent a messenger to help me. I... I felt so touched. I bet someone who's good enough to get a job like Scribe never has to worry about whether their projects will get approved or be successful. Oh, wait. Oh, oh shoot. If he's a Scribe, he probably doesn't have to do any projects in the first place. So lucky. Dear mighty god of wisdom, I've been studying late into the night for days on end. Please let me pass this exam. Please. Please. <laughs> Has Professor Farazan managed to get any students? 
people from the Haravitat Darshan say that she always has difficulty getting funding for her projects, so it's hard for her to attract students, too. Hmm. I'm not naturally talented, nor am I a fast learner. I only got into the academia by studying like crazy for the entrance exam. Oh shoot, I, I'm i sorry, I can't chat right now. Mentioning the academia reminds me that my academic progress support is due soon, and I still haven't got any progress to write about yet. My relationship with my advisor? Uh, um, uh, how, how should I put it? Oh, don't get me wrong, she's been good to me. She, she even gave me a recommendation when I started at the school, and... Every time I feel like I just can't go on, she's there to give me some, some much-needed encouragement and then to assign me another essay right after. Almost all of Sumeru's best and brightest have attended the academia, and there are a ton of scarily intelligent international students too. So you can imagine how competitive it is here, studying alongside some of these people Sometimes it makes me wonder, am I really cut out for this? Shh, be quiet. Don't wake her up. Just let her sleep peacefully. Who's her? Ah, uh, well, a very weary Layla who's constantly stressed about her schoolwork, of course. And me? <laughs> I'm Layla, too. I've heard people say she thinks a blessing from the stars is the reason why all of her outstanding schoolwork gets magically finished while she's asleep. Ah, she has absolutely no idea. Oh, uh, but seriously, don't tell her, okay? Drawing star charts is really tiring work. I really don't think I'd be able to keep at it if it wasn't something I'm interested in. You have to use a ruler, then do some calculations on paper, then check past star logs. Before you know it, the whole day is gone. But then, when I look at the finished product, a huge, neatly drawn, accurate map of the stars. It always gives me a huge sense of accomplishment. <laughs> I slept okay-ish before I came to the academia, but since I started my studies... Oh, there's so much pressure. I just want to be able to sleep the whole night through. <laughs> Every night before I go to bed, I make myself a glass of warm milk in the hope I'll sleep well tonight. The hope I'll sleep well tonight. Hope I'll sleep well tonight. <coughs> Someone once told me about a mysterious merchant who was selling really effective sleep gummies. It cost all my scholarship money plus all the other more I'd saved up. But... I bought some. They worked great, and for a while I slept like a baby, but there are 200,000 more a box. I can't afford that. I, I can't let myself buy them ever again. Nope, no way. Not even if they were buy one, get one free, or, well, buy one, get two free. Hmm, actually, maybe I'd consider that. This is amazing. Ah, <sighs> I'm so jealous. You're good at everything. Mmm, it's really good. Um, maybe we should just grab some takeout. Happy birthday! I got you this pocket astrolabe. The same stars witnessed the fate of the human race today, as did yesterday, and as will forever. May they cast their gaze upon you, and may they stay with you always, through the desert, and across the ocean, until you reach your destination. Get it together, Layla. You've got to work harder. Get it together, Layla. You're doing well so far, but you've still got a lot to learn. Get it together, Layla. You've been studying hard, and reading everything you could get your hands on. Well done. But you can't afford to suck off now. The moment you get lazy, you'll fall behind and end up having to postpone your graduation. Spare yourself the humiliation. Get it together, Layla. Believe in yourself and in the person who's helped you come this far. The two of you together can solve any problem that comes your way. Whew. 
All right. Time to leave my worries behind. Let's go.